Hey everyone, this is Paul here from MemberPress. Um, from time to time we get um, questions about how to change the email template. MemberPress uses this gray background and then it's kind of got this centered area here with the title of the email and then um, the body content in here. So we get some questions from time to time about how do I change this template and make it something different, um, make it look better, make it um, you know, change the colors or whatever that might be. So I'm going to show you two ways today that you can change this template. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the easiest option so that those of you who aren't too technical um, uh, can go with the easiest option first and then you don't have to watch the rest of the video. So I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to add a new plugin. Let's go ahead and we'll do a quick search first so you can see um, what plugin I'm talking about here, but I believe it's this one here called Email Templates. And this is a plugin that will override all of your WordPress emails and let you add kind of a custom template to them. And it's compatible with quite a few of these um, other SMTP plugins that some of our users use. Um, every time WordPress sends out an email, uh, it usually will go through either your web host's SMTP server or one of these if you haven't, uh, if you have set one of these separate uh, SMTP plugins up. But anyways, this is kind of all unrelated to the templates. So uh, we're going to go ahead and install this plugin. And uh, let me just copy the title of it here. And we're going to go ahead and paste it and do a search. And I may have already installed it. Okay, I did. So let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And I believe you go to appearance, yeah, appearance, and then email templates. Okay, and then I was just messing around earlier, so I have kind of a default template already set up here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this image in the header, so we can add our own. Um, who knows what I've got? So yeah, I've got a mountain lion here. Let's. That's way too big, but. You can see you can upload your own um, image in the header um, where I don't have any good images uploaded yet. Um, we'll go ahead and just skip that part. But yeah, you can update um, an image or you can put in some text. So uh, my awesome site. That way if the image doesn't load, it will show this text instead. Uh, you can choose whether you want it to be aligned left, right, or center. And you can change the background color of the header. Um, however you want. So let's do kind of a, we'll just do like that shade of a blue. Um, you can change your text size. So I'm going to make it uh, maybe about 50. Let's go to 50 there. And then you can change the text color. And I want the color to just be pure white. Okay. Now, we can edit the email body. Um, I like the background being white. I like the text size. I'm happy with the text color. Everything looks good there to me. I'm going to go back to the header and see if I can copy this color. Yeah. I'm going to copy that color and I'm going to go use that as the footer background color as well. There we go. And we can have it centered in the footer and. Um, Let's do a darker color for the text in the footer. Yeah, so we'll do black. And I want the powered by to be off, and I do want it to be centered. And we'll just change this to my awesome site. Okay, and then you can send a test email to yourself to see what it's going to look like. Um, but that's just about it. Um, you can change the from name from your emails. This might actually get overridden by member press anyways, but you can change it to uh, awesome site here just in case. And you can put in another email. Um, my cool email at my awesome site.com. Okay, and we'll go ahead and publish this template. And uh, I believe we just close out of this now. 
Okay, very cool. Now we can go to Member Press Options. We're going to click on the Emails tab. And this is the from name from email that I was talking about earlier. I think this will actually override what's set in that email plugin, but um, just in case it doesn't, you can set it in either place. So we're going to go ahead and edit the welcome email, just for starters. So we can see we've got this content here, um, but it'll still try to add that gray background if we just send it as it is right now. So what we need to do is uncheck this use default template. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and update the options. You don't need to do that for each email, but we're just going to show how to do it on this one. So now I'm going to go ahead and send the test email. And I'm going to wait one second till I get it. Great. Okay, so now the email has come through to me, and you can see this looks much better. So I don't really care for this blue background right over here, so we're going to get rid of that. Maybe set it um, to a different color, but... Uh, so we're going to go back to Appearance, Email Templates. And I'm going to change this background color to maybe like a bluish gray. Now let's just go right to gray. And you again, you can tweak it to how, whatever you like best. We could do an orangish gray, maybe. I don't think that looks very good either. I wonder if we can just get rid of it or just make it white. Ooh, that doesn't look very good. What about black? But anyways, you can play around with it. Um, you can, you know, choose one of these default colors down here, or you can drag it around um, on this little uh, color output grid here. Um, you know, and you can adjust your lightness and darkness with this scale here. So anyways, once you got it looking just how you want, um, you go ahead and just publish. Now it's going to be purple, but go ahead and publish it. And, uh, send out a test email again. That the last one looked like this. So. That's the easiest way to change your email templates and uh, add a little bit of flair to them. Make them look how you want. Okay, so now we're going to get into the harder way. So let me just quickly go and deactivate the email templates plugin here. Okay, so the, the, the more difficult way to do this is um, if we go look at our plugin editor here. We can see that if we go to Member Press, yours will say Member Press Plus, Pro, Basic, or if you're on an older version, Business or Developer. But uh, I'm using a Development Edition, so it just says Member Press. Um, and we click on App. We're going to go to Views, Emails. Inside of here, there's this file called template.php. So you can either edit this template directly, but your changes will be lost anytime you update the plugin. But you can change the email here. For example, you could change that gray background right here, set it to a different color. Um, but you can also override this template by copying it into your theme. So if you've got like a child theme that does not get updated, um, you know, that would be a great way to do this too. So there is a document. Let me go to our user manual that explains how to do that. How to override template files. So just come here and read this document if you want to override this template and change it. Um, the only thing you need to make sure stays is this right here. This is the bot where the body. So the content from the email. So for example, this content right here, the body. This gets output right here. So this needs to stay. Everything else up here, down here, you can change all that. Um, but this needs to be where you want the content of the body to appear. So again, the file is in the member press app folder, views, emails, and then template.php. And you can override that file by copying it over to a child theme um, using the instructions 
um, from our user manual, which I must have closed. Again, just come to our user manual and search for override. It'll be this first one right here, how to override template files. Um, the gist of it, in fact, maybe we could just do one really quick. So here's the template file. I'm going to go ahead and open the file in my text editor. And it uh, looks like it's giving me just a bit of a delay here. So I'll pause the video while that downloads. Okay, so the file finished downloading. Um, so I can go ahead and make any changes I want to this. So let me um, let me pick a color. In fact, let's just pick one of these red colors here. Uh, we'll just use this color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a kind of a random color here for the background. And we will also put it here and here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I don't want to save the file or it will override it in member press and I don't want to do that. What I want to do is do it in my theme instead. So I'm going to come up here to themes and I need to check which theme I'm using in my website here, this testing website. Okay, so we're using the 2012 theme. So we're going to come here to themes, we're going to click on 2012. And I do have a 2012 child theme, but it's not activated right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the parent theme. But uh, for if you want to be able to upgrade your theme without losing it, you'll want to create a child theme and put it in here. So, But for now, I'll put it in the parent theme. We're going to create a new directory inside of the parent theme called member press. And then we'll create a new directory inside of that called emails. And then we will upload the current file here. Okay. And now if we open that file, oh, it didn't save these colors because we didn't save the file, which I didn't want to do because it would override member presses. So let's go ahead and close that. Now we'll make our changes to the file here. And it looks like I lost my color. So I'm just going to quickly grab another color real quick here. So this one will work just fine. We'll grab the hex color here. Okay. Let's go ahead and update these colors. Okay, now we've uploaded this file into our theme in a folder called member press emails and then the file inside of it template.php and that is going to override member press's default email template which is oh wrong one app use this one right here template so we'll, this file is no longer going to be used member press should use the file that is in our theme now so we change the background color and let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and re-enable to use the member press template now that we've disabled the um, other plugin and let me update the options here okay so now if we go ahead and send a test Okay, it says it was sent successfully and now if I pull up my email now you can see we do have that new bluish color instead of the gray so that's uh, two ways you can override the um, default gray you know kind of boxy square email template that member press sends out and uh, hopefully that helps and uh, happy member pressing